So I've actually been getting a lot of comments on this topic about how mounting impacts your weapon. Um, some people are referencing true game data saying, hey, if you use the RAM, basically you have no recoil. So I thought I'd take a look at it for all the rifles, SMGs, and LMGs to see which ones have the biggest impact because it doesn't look like it affects all the weapons the exact same way. So I'll show you an example of what it looks like in game. And then I've already taken the screenshots of all these weapons in this category. We'll kind of breeze through those. And then we'll talk about some outliers based on the data. Also, just a heads up, my G Fuel code is boosted 30% all the way until the 18th of October. So if you're looking to stock up, try it out for the first time, plenty of great flavors. The ones that I've almost finished off are Hype Sauce, as well as this Starfruit flavor. This was bomb, I almost finished that back to back. I didn't try another flavor. So if you're looking to take advantage of that, just use code JGOT at checkout or that link down in the description. Let's get into it. So here's the first example, 30 bullets. We'll go ahead and aim directly at the wall right here. I'll strafe over and then we'll go ahead and line that up and we'll kind of see how that looks with the mounting. So right here, just aim, fire, it goes up and then directional, diagonal to the left. Uh, looks a little bit weird, but if I go ahead and strafe over, I can do the same thing, mount, and it basically gives you no recoil. So this is an extreme outlier, so I thought it'd be worth checking out the rest of the weapons. Let's go ahead and take a look at that now. So here's a quick spreadsheet. I'm not gonna go through the entire thing, but basically what I did is I fired the weapon and then I fired it mounted and I drew a line in my photo software and basically counted the pixels to the left and counted the pixels vertically. And that gives us our X, our Y, and then Z is basically X and Y combined, or I just put X, Y in there as well. So what we can do is look at how big a difference the these are changing. In addition to that, I've ranked them from the weapons that have the most recoil reduction from mounting versus the least. And as we go through all the rifles, there's about a 50% reduction overall, but there's some that aren't as good. The AS Val, the FAMAS, the AMAX, you're not really getting much of a, a benefit there from mounting M13. Whereas these ones on the top end of the list are getting maximum benefit from mounting your weapon. So right here you can see with the RAM, about a 70% reduction, 63%. The Scar, the Fowl is 61%, the Growl 55. And then what you notice is as you transition to different weapon types, the patterns change quite a bit. When we jump over to the SMGs, you can see right here that the AUG is the top dog in terms of recoil reduction. This is the base ammo, I didn't do it with the 5.56, but this just gives you kind of an example of how much worse the recoil reduction is for the SMGs versus the rifles. On average with the rifles, you get about a 51% reduction versus with the SMGs is only about a 27% reduction, which is very minimal, even though it will help. Uh, one of the worst on this particular chart was the P90. It's just atrocious how little it actually helped. I was like, that's laughable compared to the RAM. And then we also have the LMGs, which are a little bit closer to the rifle levels, and they're all right around the same about 46% reduction. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like in game, head to head. So this ends up being the side to side comparison for all the different rifles. We got the Kilo, you can see that one's cut down quite a bit, the Foul, the M4, the FAMAS, obviously it's a burst, so that kind of impacts it. It gets a chance to recenter in between that 150 millisecond delay or whatever the delay is. I don't remember off the top of my head. Then we got the Odin that's cutting down pretty, pretty significant, M13, the SCAR, look at how much tighter that is. The SCAR could be nasty. I still want them to increase the magazine capacity so I could use this in Warzone in something besides solos or maybe even duos. AK-47, it tightens it up significantly, especially on these first couple shots that come out. They are very bouncy versus this lev uh, the one on the right. A lot less bouncy, very tight. The RAM is just stupid, condensed. Uh, we have the Growl, AMAX, AN-94, and then the AS Val which isn't helping nearly as much. This was on the, the worst end, but obviously as we look at those, pretty solid comparison. And you can see which weapons that you should definitely be taking advantage of. I don't think enough people do this. I know when I did my top player breakdown for scopes, he does this very regularly and it ends up leading to just more consistent shots. When those shots hit, easier to control the recoil. Obviously you make yourself a little immobile, but being able to land all those shots gets you much closer to that theoretical time to kill versus missing shots and not even coming close. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the SMGs. So there's a lot less SMGs here. We got the AUG right here, P90, MP5, does not really doing much there. Uh, we got the Uzi, the Bison, the MP7, the Striker, and they all look like they're pretty condensed equally, um, except for probably the P90. They're like almost identical. It comes a like four or five bullets, a little bit tighter, shorter, condensed there. But overall, 
You can kind of see how it's impacted. It doesn't look like it's helping out with the MP5 that much either. And then we have the PKM, the SA87, which that one looks like it's tightening it up quite a bit. The M91, that like cuts it in half. Pretty solid there. MG doing a pretty good job. It even straightens out the recoil. You can see there's a little bit less side to side bounce that we got going on. Holger, it makes it look very tight. It's like the M13 normal. So uh, if you're ever using the Holger, I know it's a, a little bit harder to use, but that is disgusting how tight that could be. Same with the Bruin and the fin that tightens up, even though it still has a little bit of side to side bounce, it's still a fairly tight recoil pattern. So does this revolutionize the class setup? Obviously the mounting isn't a perk, but I think there's a lot of situations where just people don't have that incorporated as their play style, even though Modern Warfare ingrains it in you as you're doing those camo challenges. But the main reason I bring that up is because there's certain weapons that are just outside the edge of meta just because of their recoil pattern. And a lot of times you could just mix it in there because the TTK is fast enough. If you land your shots, it's just typically a little harder to land the shots if you're not mounting. So that gives you a great opportunity to kind of mix and match some of these weapons that are a little bit lesser used. One example of that is the Ram. We saw some insane reduction in recoil and it's almost like you're not going to miss. When it came to SMGs, the AUG saw the greatest benefit. And in terms of LMGs, the SA-87, which is very competitive as a rifle, it just has a little bit of more recoil than most people are comfortable with but if you mount that thing it's going to be having less recoil than standard rifles on top of that if you want to use the holger which is another rifle type of lmg there's another great opportunity to use that one there mount up beam the shots and the ttks on these types of weapons are very competitive so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video learned something new if you did please do me a favor hit that like button if you're brand new want to find your way back for more call of duty content make sure you subscribe with notifications on appreciate all the support on the channel thank you for watching as always have a great day